everybody, this is Scott Wedenkivowitz from Photocrati and NextGen Gallery. Today I wanted to show you a new feature inside of Google Webmaster Tools. So if you have Webmaster Tools set up, you can actually um, see a new feature under Search Traffic and Search Analytics. This is in beta, uh, but basically what it's doing is it's telling you some of your rankings, how you're ranking, what position you're ranking on Google and uh, what type of impressions your content is getting, what click-through rates they're getting, um, how many clicks they're getting, and things like that, and you can filter it down. So you can see here, this is just one month, so I have April 7th to May 4th, basically just about a month of data, and you can see it's, uh, it's showing the web. You can change the search type if you want. Um, you can have no filter, any of that kind of stuff. And um, if I, as I go down, oh, you can also see that I have in the chart, I also have the um, you know, everything, all four options clicked, selected. By default, I think it only shows you clicks, but you can um, actually select clicks, impressions, click-through rate, that's what CTR is, and position. Going down, uh, you can actually see there is a Google update right here, so it's actually showing you when there was an update uh, from the Google al algorithms, and you can actually hover over and then learn more about that update. So that way, if you see the uh, trend of going up or down, uh, you can actually see, you know, if it's related to whatever update happened from Google. Um, now, what I want to show you about this is the benefit of this new feature is it allows you to really tune in to uh, how you're doing with certain content. So if you want to be ranking well for a certain content uh, and you're not, you can actually see what you're, what is not and how to improve. But if you look right here, I've got clicks, impressions, click-through rate, and position. Now, here's a good example of um, an article that's actually doing pretty well, all things considered, especially with the position that it sits. Look at the Mastin Labs review. The Mastin Labs makes Lightroom presets and I wrote an article, it's a review of their presets. And it got 10 clicks in a month, 21 impressions, that's almost 50% click-through rate. Almost 51% click-through rate. And the position is actually page four, it's uh, position 14. So it's actually the fourth position on the second page, okay? Because there's 10, positions on each page. So it's the fourth position on the second page. So someone actually, or these 10 people, um, or I should say 21 people, actually found it, went to the second page, and you know almost half of them actually clicked through. Whereas if you look at Preview over Shoot and Sell, uh, comparing an article I did comparing two iPad apps, this is an older article, um, but it's, uh, you know, it's position 2.3, so it's actually somewhere between 2 and 3, it varies, and it has a lower click-through rate, has more impressions, right? So it's actually um, it's being visible more often, but it's a lower click-through rate. So I can probably go back to this and improve on the article because I know people are seeing it and not everybody's clicking through. Why are they not clicking through? Um, what else? So you can see there's a Sony GPS article, um, Shutter Snitch review, so a whole bunch of different things. Nodal slide as well. Um, so you can also filter by impressions. So if you want to see what of your content is getting the most impressions, you know, then uh, what's going on. So WordPress plugins for photographers, I've got an article that's ranking at 8.1 and WordPress plugin photographers, it, the same article is ranking at 6.3, but no click-through rates, no click-throughs. Why? Why are people not clicking through? So you can investigate your own content and see what is going on and how to improve uh, on that. But if you look at WordPress plugins for photographers, it's getting 2.48 click-through rate and it's ranking around six, sort of similar to this one. So you can see the same article is getting click-throughs with just different uh, different keywords. So things to investigate. Um, you can also just search, you can filter by actual click-through rate. So you can see every single person who finds, and it's not many in a month, who finds, uh, who searches for photo mechanic versus Lightroom 5, is clicking through to my site and it's on the second page, third spot on the second page. Um, let's see, you can do by position. So oddly enough, people searching my own name and uh, I've got almost 70% click through rate. The interesting thing is why are people not 100% clicking through? So, uh, you know, maybe they wanna find social media, maybe something else, who knows? But um, that's an interesting interesting thing to, uh, to look into. Um, so that is basically the gist of the search analytics. It allows you to really tune in to different details on your content, what's ranking, why is it ranking, you can really fine tune um, to find out, so you can investigate to find out this, this information. It allows you to filter in if you want to do it by devices or search type images or, or web or things like that. Um, so 
Uh, I only showed you this month just to, as a quick example. You can always switch it to a year and you get uh, much better data or even, you know, five years. You get even more, be you know, um, even uh, better data that way. So the more time you can give um, and the more specific you can get on different things, um, the better this feature, the search queries feature will work for you. So check it out. Go to Webmaster Tools, go to the search traffic drop down and then search analytics. It's brand new in beta. Who knows if it's going to last, but right now it's a really cool new feature. Thanks for watching.